hello guys today i'm gonna unboxing a, giga a gigabyte motherboard which is s410m sv2 so basically it is a 10 gen motherboard it supports uh, you, you guys can see it supports intel core 10 gen and it has a chipset s470 and uh, the socket model uh, is LGA1200 okay so let's look at the box first uh, here they have a quick specification Intel S470 socket 1200 division 1.0 2 DDR4 2 CS PCI X, uh, Express 16 Micro ATX USB 3.0 M.2 socket 3 HD audio GB LAN. So here <coughs> they give a quick specification. So let's look at the back side of the box. <coughs> here it is. So uh, here they explain the LAN specification. GB LAN with e force speed internet acceleration networking and uh, Gen 3 into 42280 M.2 connector which is pretty good I think and here they, uh, they have also give another specification of the motherboard uh, CPU support 10 gen Intel core processor CPU socket LG1200 chipset Intel S470 chipset and graphics interface 1 into PCI 3.0 into 16 display interference HDMI D sub which is pretty good this motherboard has HDMI port and uh, some other things such as uh, 4 into USB 3.2 gen 1 16 into USB 2.0 etc so let's open the box and see the main board yeah I opened it and uh, here is the motherboard i will pull it out fast and keep inside and let's look at the what else in the box yeah uh, they provide a driver cd uh, which is uh, useless nowadays i think you can uh, you should download the updated driver from their website uh, the CD uh, must have the backdated drivers so it is useless I think and <clears throat> here they have a quick manual with an image of the motherboard and uh, they specify the image okay and uh, here uh, they provide SATA cable actually they provide two SATA cable I, I used uh, it uh, in my another PC already they provide two SATA cable in the box and here uh, is the IO shield which is pretty much good so that's it in the box so let's move into the main part the motherboard yeah so at first I want to show you guys the back port of the motherboard so here we have uh, two PS2 two PS2 port and uh, one DSA port is here and here they have uh, one HDMI port which is uh, pretty much good and uh, here we have two USB 2.0 and this side uh, under the LAN connector uh, there are two USB 2.0 so total 4 USB 2.0 port and uh, in the middle uh, they have 2 USB 3.2 generation 1 port which is pretty much good I think and uh, here is the LAN connector and here is the audio ports as usual and let's look at the uh, audio configuration uh, I think the capacitors for the audio is pretty much good they said uh, it is Intel high uh, real tech high definition audio which is pretty much good I think and moving to the PCI Express uh, here they have PCI Express 16 one slot for it and PCI Express 1 uh, two slot for it 
which is good and uh, here is the m.2 slot m.2 slot uh, for the mother, uh, motherboard which is pretty much good and uh, this motherboard uh, has two memory slots uh, which supports uh, 2666 DDR4 motherboard uh, DDR4 uh, memory which is pretty much good and is it supports up to 64 uh, GB of memory which is good I think and uh, uh, there are four SATA port and uh, beside the SATA port uh, you can see the USB 3.2 header uh, this header can be used uh, for uh, for uh, USB port in the casing which is pretty much good I think and moving to the CPU socket uh, as I mentioned before uh, this motherboard only supports 10 gen processor it can be i3 i5 or i7 10 gen and uh, this uh, socket model is 1200 which is good so that's it pretty much oh, oh one more thing uh, this motherboard supports smart fan smart fan 5 uh, which is pretty much good uh, and pretty much new feature uh, for the gigabyte motherboards uh, the feature is uh, basically um, <coughs> this mo motherboard has four smartphone uh, smart 5 uh, header fan header and the feature is basically uh, as as much as like uh, gpu fan uh, when the uh, CPU temperature is uh, low, the fan will automatically stop and uh, again when the CPU temperature is uh, higher, the fan will autom automatically start. So I can say it has a sensor uh, of the sensor to catch up the temperature and uh, start the fan, start or stop the fan um, uh, based on the, on the CPU temperature. So, so uh, this is this feature is pretty much good I think so you should <laughs> enable the smart fan uh, option from the BIOS menu uh, then uh, you should connect the smart fan header uh, connect the fan which is pretty much um, pretty a good feature I think so that's it with the unboxing this motherboard gigabyte s410m is v2 this is pretty much good motherboard i think an updated motherboard for uh, any 10 gen processor so that's it guys